Good morning, Quiet Copter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of the new QX105 Bat. What's so special about the 105 Bat? You'll, you look at it and you say, geez, that's another little micro FPV quadcopter. Yes, it is, but there is something very special, and that are, is and are these motors. They are 1020 motors. They're very big motors, uh, uh, kind of unusually large to be included on such a tiny little quadcopter. Uh, hopefully, they'll give this a lot of oomph. We're going to find out here uh, in flying. But additionally, it also comes with an Omnibus F3 flight control board with uh, Beta Flight. Hold on a second. I'll tell you what Beta Flight we got. We got Beta Flight 3.0.1 on here. So it's uh, including Beta Flight. Uh, we also have an all in one camera attached to the front here. It is 40 channel, uh, 25 milliwatt. And uh, other than that, we have the light bar in the back. And since we have an F3 flight control board, they took the, they were gracious enough to also include a beeper on this little quadcopter in case it crashes. And we got to go looking for it out in the field. We can uh, find it as such and also alert us to uh, low battery. Hopefully, we'll find out. I have it set up for VBAT, but we'll find out. So that's the uh, basic nutshell of the. Uh, little uh, QX105. Let's give it a flight and see how it actually performs. So hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we are set up. We are armed. Now notice on my uh, display, you'll notice here shortly on my display that we have on-screen display with this. So uh, this should be interesting. Okay, I'm setting it to arm and let's go into acro and we're going to fly in acro mode today. Hope you enjoy this flight. Here we go. Okay, let's see. This is my first flight with it. So I want to be, <laughs> let's give it a feel. Let's get a feel for it. It is actually kind of nice. Nice feeling. Let's see how it goes around bend. Now, notice we got on-screen display with this. Right now I'm at 3.5 volts. 3.4, let's see how long this voltage lasts <laughs> with this particular quadcopter. Because I got a feeling those big 1020 motors are going to be sucking the juice. Okay. Coming down, coming down. Let's, let's try. Let's try a little maneuverability. Oh, I hit the ground. Sorry about that. Try going through these trees now. Gotta keep an eye on that voltage there. But it's supposed to beep, beep for us. We'll find out. It is a nice flyer, folks. Now that those 1020 motors, I am concerned about that. Um, that they're going to draw a lot of power. I hope that flight control board is properly designed to accommodate those. <laughs> so, Especially in a crash. You go in a crash and those are suck of juice and the motors get uh, obstructed, there could be a problem. Oh, nice. Nice little flyer. It's one of the better ones actually. I hope it uh, come down lower, lower, lower there. I think I hit a branch. <laughs> it's starting to get a little sluggish now. I'm feeling it. We're at 3.4 volts. Yeah, I gotta do more flights with this. But this is the first flight, just to let you see it. Let's try some high speed runs now. Going down this way, lining up. <laughs> that really sucked the juice out of it there. I'm too concerned though if I do hurt this battery because it is a real common battery on this, you know, little 600 milliamp per hour uh, lipo. I got tons of those, so we're gonna give it up. All it's got until I hear a beep. Well, I'm not hearing a beep. I should hear it by now. We've been flying three minutes, 12 seconds apparently. On my OSD. It's giving me a good flight time, surprisingly enough. 
not bad at all. Nice flyer. Got a lot of juice. 330. <laughs> okay, we're getting low. 3.1 volt, 3.2 volt. I am going to slowly bring it in here. And we're going to probably hover it. I'm going to go... I am going to go into stabilized mode. And we're going to hover it in front of us here. Until I hear a beep. <laughs> coming down, coming down. We're in stabilized mode. Uh, okay. You hear any beep books? I don't hear any beeping. None at all. I hope this isn't hurting the battery. We'll find out. But I did have the bat set. Got four minutes of flight time. Four minutes, 45 seconds. <coughs> Back to Acro. Don't feel a lot of oomph in this battery. Feel lots of oomph in this battery. Five minutes. I'm surprised. This gives a lot. Okay, that's. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to land it because I shouldn't be going back to stab mode. I shouldn't be flying at about three volts. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but you never want to go below three volts, and I just did. Oh, there we go. And it warns you right there. Okay, 3.2 volts residual voltage without any power on it. So I guess that VBAT does work. Hold on, folks. <laughs> Let me unplug it. So, all in all, you know, this gave a lot of flight time. Let me feel that battery. It's only slightly warm. A lot of flight time with this little 600 milliamp per hour battery. Uh, I'm surprised how much flight time we got. Um, actually, this might be a winner, folks. That is, if uh, these 1020 motors don't hurt the flight control board. <laughs> we'll find out here with future flights. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.